Hi guys, I am back to wax my mantle. I thought I would come on here really quick and show you. Um, I did the, the half already, um, might play with it just a little bit, but I thought I would show you how easy it is to wax um, and talk a quick minute about why you would wax. Um, so my paint is all dry uh, and you guys can see the action um, just a bit. Maybe I, maybe I should bring you closer. I thought you were okay, but let me see if I can bring you a little closer before everybody gets here. What's that? I don't know that that helps that much, but yeah, maybe. Okay, so um, the paint's dry. You can see the movement from the paint job that we did yesterday. And um, I've, put, I've already waxed the top here this morning and kind of dressed it as much as I could um, until the bottom is done. But you just take a waxing brush, which is really just a dense, um, a dense brush, um, rounded, uh, let's see, I don't even know what, this one's called Jack Richardson. I just grabbed one. I've got so many. Um, we used to sell them at the shop. I don't know that I have any left for sale. But so I put a, I put some wax on here. You can see not a lot. Oh, it might be too much even, but yeah, just there's some wax on my brush. And then you just go in. And, and I'm wondering if you guys can, oops, I lost it this way. I wonder if you guys can, it's clear. I was see, trying to see if you guys could see um, when you look across it, like, like, you know, scanning across, like when you go this way, you can really see uh, some of the shine. So what it's doing is taking the flat chalk paint and turning it into a satin finish so that, um, I mean, it's easier to dust and you just imagine your walls being flat or satin. And it might maybe after, like when you first do it, it's very satiny. But when it sits for a little while, you know, for a month or however long, it kind of turns more into an eggshell sort of shine. So it definitely, as it absorbs in, whoops, I got my bunny hanging over the edge there a little bit. Um, after it absorbs in, then uh, it, the shine backs down just a bit. Let me get around my corner here. Okay. So... And I would not have had to wax this because it's not really anything I'm going to be touching or using. You had flat paint. Oh, yes. It's the same thing, Cynthia. It's the same exact thing as having flat paint on the walls. So you just like to have a nice, soft finish. So then I go in and I just use a, a dry cloth and I wipe it off. And because all you want is what absorbs into that flatness, you don't need all that you don't need a, a thickness of sticky anything, you know, you just want it to be smooth. So you just wipe it back and you could be done. Done, done, done. Your furniture is done. But if you want to take it a little bit further, there are so many ways of doing it. I could take a rag, a wet rag before I wax and rub, or I could take sanding paper and rub and um, break down the paint and get to the, back to the oak that was there. Um, I could do that, but I really was thinking of a softer, sort of a softer antique finish. So I'm hoping you guys will be able to see. I'm pretty sure you will. So this is the antique wax. I have a ton of antique wax left. And by the way, if any of you um, have ordered paint or uh, one of you wanted some glazes and, and uh, metallic creams, I have two more orders to work on. So um, I've got every all the other ones done yesterday. Uh, so anyway, just know that I've got two more I'll get with you here when I'm done. So I'm just going in wherever there's like a dark shadow. So see, yeah, you can see for sure. And I want to drag it down just a little bit. You know, I was care very careful here on the other side. Did the other side first just to get a feel for it. Uh, let's see, I'm going to be doing this crack because this is truly a crack. Um, some of these are outside edges. Um, I did try, let's see, where did I stop? Oh, it's really subtle because it's not an inside crack, so it doesn't really grab very well. But I tried to grab this little groove as well. And then there's a groove kind of here. I'm going to grab that one as well. And then, just to be a little messy, I'm going to put just a few marks there. Okay, see all that? Now don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. I'm going to take my same rag 
and wipe it away. Softening it back. to almost nothing, just a hint of dirt, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> just a hint of aging is more than dirt, what I'm going for here. I don't really want it to look dirty, but it is kind of what I'm doing, is dirtying it up a little bit. Okay, but what it's really doing is popping the dimensions of the, the carving, see, from so far away, it, um, it kind of, shows off all of the moldings and the, the different ledges and stuff like that. So, now let's say that you've gotten it done. I might put a little bit more up here on this little top. It, it won't stay very well, but just a little bit. Okay. All right, now let's say that you don't like a place. So you go back in with the clear all right, it looks like you guys can see this one really well. And you can like reactivate it and wipe it down. See that? And make it go away. So if there's, you know, a place that you feel like, ooh, I, I overdid it, you can get it off. But otherwise, it's pretty much there. I mean, you're, you can keep wiping it back a bit and getting it, but it's still going to be there. So um, just know that you can go back in with your underneath wax. So see, I've really... For as dirty as it was looking, I really wiped it back pretty, pretty far. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. But I, I want some of this to show. So I'm going to go back in and put it back. Because <laughs> I wiped it all off to show you I could. Okay. So then typically, too, another trick is to stand back. Like, it looks like one thing up close. Like, it looks really, you know... Like a lot, but then when you stand back, it's like, oh, I didn't do enough. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Sherry. Good morning. Hi, Linda. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Kathy. Yes, Helena, a patina. That's what I'm giving it. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks, Shayla. Hi, Shayla. Okay, just answered some of you guys. Good morning, Helena and Emma. Thanks, Sherry. Okay, you guys. Um, oh, there was one more I missed. Let's see. Who did I miss? How do you say that? What a pretty name. Taria? That's a beautiful name. Hello, Taria. I love that. And Randy. Hi, Randy. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> let's see. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So in order to, I may, I may when I'm, you know, when I can, and I'll stand way back and look and see what I see, but in person, it's showing up even more than it is on the camera. So I would typically probably do more just for you guys and then have to wipe it all back, so I'm gonna leave it. So um, I'm gonna add in my little things to finish this end, because this bunny just looks kind of funny sitting here like that. So I'll put a, um, a real pretty little handkerchief that I have. Let's see here, I'm gonna, <coughs> oh gosh, I get a cough. Uh, let's do that. There. I always like Tim tucked in there. I don't know why. And I did, or if in my shop, I'm going to be putting a couple more bunnies in there. I was able to come up with two more. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. I'm going to cough all morning so you go live. All right. Then, oh, for Pete's sake, let's get everything in and then I'll fix that because it's just barely balancing up there. So then we put a little bit of greenery in, which drives my husband crazy when he wants to light the fire <laughs> at night. Like, get all your crap off of there. What a start a fire. Uh, let's see. So let me let me step you back where you were now. Oh, I got you on a table, <laughs> on a crock on a table. So there. It looks great. I'm sure you guys probably, let's see, where do I need... I don't even know where I need this. I feel like that's too much. Um, I can get it up here, up over. How about that? There, that's better. Okay. Okay. Yay. So there you go. That's um, that's it. The bright, the light's really bright. Surprise. There. That's better. Maybe. So, um, oh, and I know it's backwards. My sign says wildflowers, and let's stay home. So there you go. There's my mantle all painted. 
I'll do some before and after pictures and post them. Oh, this one there. <laughs> I had this tucked up in this goes up here. I kind of have things a little bit of a disarray, but anyway, there you go. So I will take pictures and um, show you what it looked like before with the, just the oak and then what it looks like now. So it did brighten it up, Shayla. I'm anxious for my husband to come and see it. I think he'll really like it. And you guys know how, remember I was asking him to put a deeper ledge because it's just so skinny. And last night on the phone, he said, you know, maybe we should put a little bigger ledge on there. So I thought, wow, he's really getting into my mantle. So he must've liked it after I sent him pictures. So anyway, thank you, Karen. I'm gonna fly. Um, working on my curtains now. So I'm, I might need his help for that. I, I think I messed them up. <laughs> but I'll show you that too. I have all these projects going. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.